I will never need to buy another mixer or capture card ever again. Today, we're looking at the Roland Bridgecast X. I can't show it to you because I'm using it. It's the big brother to the Bridgecast I covered a few weeks ago and brand new mixer that was just revealed today. We're breaking down how they took the best mixer I have ever used and somehow made it the only mixer I or any streamer will ever need to use. If you didn't see my video on the original Bridgecast, which I heavily recommend, then don't worry because I'm going to cover the features it shares with its new older brother first quickly. And then we can jump into why I'll only be using this one from now on. And no, it's not because Roland sent it to me early. I mean, they did send it to me early. It, it only just got released six hours ago, but trust me, okay? I like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't talk about it and I'm not getting paid. The Bridgecast and the Bridgecast X both have enough gain for the Shure SM7B, sitting at 75 dB supplied gain, which is great because this mic is one hungry mother They both offer full audio routing to allow you to split your audio sources up and give you proper control for both streaming and more importantly for recording. After all, you don't want your mic, music, game, and Discord all mixed together, of course. Bridgecast and the X give you multiple virtual inputs and outputs to let you keep them separate while actually going a step further, but stick around because I'll go into more detail about that soon. It has all of the expected professional suite of tools such as EQ, compression, low cuts, noise gates, blah, blah, blah. Look, it's got everything you'd expect to make your mic sound crisp, clean, and Barry White smooth. I have a cold right now, so I probably don't though. While also giving you the ability to EQ your game. So for example, if you're playing Valorant and trying to listen really specifically for the enemy reloading, planting, or even just their footsteps, well, you can either set your own or use their pre-built EQ to cut out all the crappy noise you don't wanna hear and help you cheat. I, I mean, listen carefully for the enemy. Speaking of, you know how your friend Jim loves to eat Doritos right into his microphone while on Discord? We all hate Jim and the loud wet smacking sounds he makes all night long, but don't worry, you can use a compressor and a de to help clean up your Discord audio built into the Bridgecast. It has fully customizable voice effects, sound effects built in, beautiful clicky clacky mute buttons that can actually be programmed to be dozens of different tasks, not just muting. And all of this so far is barely scratching the surface, which is shocking because the Bridgecast has such tiny form factor and a price to match coming in well under any other device on the market, like the GoXLR, the Rodecaster Pro 2, the Rodecaster Duo. What is the price? Well, last video I told you what it cost and you got mad at me for being $50 over. So now all you get is a link in the description, okay? If you want to find out, it'll be there and it will be in your currency, not mine. But of course, the feature that should excite you the most and gets me so hot and bothered that I need to change my pants, submixing or dual bus mixing. The Bridgecast and the X allow you to create two separate mixes, one called stream and one called personal. This means one will go out to the stream while the other goes personally to you, which means you can level mute and control each mix individually or together, allowing your stream to hear music nice and loud while you leave the music muted so you can hear the game instead. You can either level them separately in app or press this little button here. And now my stream mix is selected and I can turn one of my four fully programmable and customizable knobs to raise the music for my stream. And if I press it again, I can now raise the game for me or press the mix link button and control the volume of both submixes at the same time. Speaking of knobs, I love them because yes, you can change them to control any of the eight virtual inputs. But what you care more about is yes, you can customize the LED colors of both them and these beautiful touchpads. This is where the two devices start to differ. In my video a few weeks ago, I complained a little bit, and I guess Roland were listening closely when I said it doesn't have touchpads. Because, well, unlike its younger brother, the Bridgecast X now has six fully programmable touchpads and six programmable presets, which means you can have up to 36 different buttons. And Trust me when I say these buttons can do a lot. Of course, they can be sound effects, which sadly do need to be WAV files and you only get two internal slots. So that means you only get two fart sounds built into the Bridgecast. Don't worry, I found a fix for that soon, so stick around. It of course comes programmed with a swear bleep, you little f***ing mums of and I'll f*** your dad with a rusty f these pads can be literally anything from muting tracks, turning on and off voice effects, changing EQ profiles, you name it. But personally, the thing I love the most is they can be hotkeys. Now, anyone who loves OBS should instantly be getting excited when I say that. And while they go change their clothes, let me explain to the rest of you why this is awesome. You can select a touchpad and program it to be a combination of button presses. For example, Control Shift 2. And if I press that touchpad, well, it'll trigger my dramatic zoom in OBS. Why? Because in OBS, I have said if I ever press Control Shift 2 to trigger that zoom. Now remember, in total, you can have 36 programmed buttons. That's a lot of hotkeys, which can be used to play any sound source you add to OBS, which will help get around the limit of only having two fart sounds in the Bridgecast. The next part isn't super important for streamers, so I I won't dwell on it too long or I'll have to put Subway Surfer up to keep you entertained, but I was scrolling through and I saw virtual surround sound. So I loaded up Tears of the Kingdom, found my local band, and well, I accidentally spent an hour 
just running around playing with the virtual position of my speakers. I only had a headset while I was testing this, but it was already very immersive. And I can't imagine how it would sound plugged into a 7.1 surround sound or into a PlayStation while watching Netflix even. Sorry, LJ, what was that? Plugged into a PlayStation? W what do you mean plugged into a PlayStation? Great catch, Billy. That's right. You see, one of the major flaws with capture cards has always been that they run directly into OBS, which means their audio needs to be controlled via OBS and often monitored via OBS. And if you're using a mixer like the GoXLR, which most of my streamer friends are, then that means the game audio bypasses it, meaning you can't control your console audio with your mixer despite spending thousands of dollars to control your audio at an arm's reach. But not anymore. The Bridgecast X has clean, zero delay, no latency, full 4K pass through game capture that can either send directly to OBS or send to OBS and a TV or monitor so you can continue playing on a big screen. I'll put a link in the description for the full spec sheet because I know there are a lot of video nerds out there who care, but for everyone else, let me break down how this works. On the back of the BGCX, that's what I'm calling it now because it sounds way cooler, it has three HDMI ports, two for input and one for output. Plug your console or camera into the HDMI inputs and then use the HDMI in button to select which input you want to send to OBS. Press the USB out button and congratulations, you have your camera or console directly in OBS. So what LJ, that's just a capture card, right? Why does this matter? Wrong my little lemon drop, because now while gaming away, you can reach over and happily change the volume, mute, or generally do whatever you want to your audio coming from your console because it is integrated into your mixer, meaning no more capture card mess around. I've been testing this since it arrived on my doorstep early January. And again, I have had zero delay on video or audio playback, zero hassles, and I've been able to stop using my Elgato HD 60S, meaning I was able to free up another USB slot on my PC, which I need because I'm pretty sure I'm overloading my poor PC. Seriously, it's not good. It looks like the back of Predator's head. If you enjoyed this video, but you don't need video capture, check out this one about the original Bridgecast or this one about the best microphone for streamers that costs only $99. And for the love of God, consider becoming a member of the channel. It only costs a dollar and my goal is to reach 69 members this year. I'm at 14 so far, so I think we can make it.